Alrighty. This has been a long time coming. It's time to finally tell myself to actually get this done. I've got most of everything in area. I did some tinkering around. And this is the device that is previewed in prior video. Let me make sure that it's powered off. Because I'm sure the owner is not going to care for having forward facing data out to the webs. As you can tell, kind of. This is the same phone, but I'm sure you guys know that. <clears throat> I'll also try to clear my throat a little less frequently. So we'll start with popping the back off. Yoinking the battery. If I can get my freaking paws under it. Dang it, I'm not cat claws. No, close enough. Set these parts off the side. Pop those parts. I don't think I really need to remove those. At least, I don't think I need to remove that. But let me get that out anyway. Try to remove those, just be careful with them. This is the part I'm not too fond of. On this model, you gotta pop the uh, screen off. Since I've already done it before to get this device working, this wasn't this won't be such an issue as a new device would be. I'm going all the way around. Carefully giving her a little twist. Because under one of the two sides there's a ribbon cable. And I don't want to be the one to Break said ribbon cable. Or damage the back plate to the screen. Get this other side unglued. Since it's sticking a little bit more. And hopefully I'm keeping everything in video here. Just give us a careful move. And this is the cable I'm talking about. We'll take our little tweezers. Get underneath the corner. Pop this loose. And this should pop loose off of this connector. I'm not sure if these are focusing in or not. I'll try to focus it now. And then again. And I'll set that part off to the side. Also, with that piece there. Because I'll have to reinstall that. See if I can get the uh, correct driver bit on the first try. The last time we ran through here, I didn't. Nope, that's not the correct driver bit. On to the next bit. Here we go. That one. Two. Three. 
I shouldn't be counting these screws, but I can, I guess, if I wanted to. Just carefully remove them, or unscrew them at least. In the way again. Yep. Okay. Now for the not so fun part. Let me move some stuff. Get this stuff out of the way. So I'm gonna have a place to put the screws. I should be just trying to finger them uh, by nail out. And losing them, flipping them over. And those screws are going to tell me I'm going to have to do it that way. That's one, two. I don't recommend tapping like that. If you tap in the wrong spot, you might break something. It's more or less if you tap too hard, you'll break something. At least it's not like some phones where you uh, look at them wrong, they'll fall apart. I'm sure uh, those in the business let you know. Dang it. Which device is I yanking or yapping about? Alright, you uh, These screws are being held in. Yeah, of course. Uh, Hold on. I have to pause here. Just a quick break there for a sec. Of course it probably uh, isn't a break to you guys. Come on, let's group. There we go. Finally. Didn't want to come out. Actual not fun part. I didn't like doing this the last time. Got to be extra careful. Running it around the edge. Especially now since I got that cord running through there. So because of that, I get to uh, take this apart carefully. And I did have this podge together a little better, but under some use 
and the original plan was to uh, just grab data off the phone now since you know it works the owner wants to keep it and use it so you know also don't mind the yapping in the background it's totally unrelated to the video That should be fine. Let's bring it out through the port. Yeah, it's already been a water damage before, so. I miss. I might as well show you guys while I'm still here in this part. This is the hodgepodge deal. I'm not proud of it. I don't recommend it. I. Really, I really didn't like doing this in the first place. So, take the wires here. I may have to cut that. Let me uh, grab something I can use. It's a free, a little bit, or a little bit more free. And I hope the video here is not blurry. And anything else should not be attached. But I want to make sure. I may have to uh, carefully go around and release the board from the side tabs this fucking random hair that floats around here what the heck it's almost like I'm shedding or something this part's the part where you have to be absolutely careful if you hose this big you gotta replace the whole deal probably since that's free, now take the uh, headphone jack and uh, button assembly out. Let me set that center part, for lack of a better name, off to the side. you see how my uh, soldering skills are took me in a, took me a bit to actually get up enough muster to make this video because I'm I was actually worried about such things okay squeeze this box in here so what I do here is a little bit more close find where I put everything I do have everything on camera right nope you're not on camera buddy you might count there now Yep. You still post crap videos. <laughs> Alright. I'm learning. I learned slow bow. Don't mind my thoughts there. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Let's 
drop a little bit of the flux on the board here. Grab the soldering arm. Keep her a little clean and misplace another two things. And move the camera around because, oh well, I keep bumping things. Stab at aiming here. Let's see the back fan in the background is no help. Get that wire loose. Get that wire loose. part you guys are all here waiting for. Let me switch over from hot iron soldering gun to uh, hot iron. Get my mess out of the way. Crank the heat up onto the hot iron to 350 degrees Canadian. And uh, hope I don't burn the box. I gotta turn it this way so I can even see. Get the board up a bit. Oh, the lighting situation is absolutely subpar. And that do something a little different. That box is a no-go. How many of y'all called that out in the comments? And yeah, this once was an old power supply. I'm sure somebody in the comments is going to call out something else too. Round two, Dan. Turn this up a little bit. Don't mind the smoke, that was the old flux that I had placed on here well you could also mean uh, the uh, old uh, plastic core in here that I just kind of uh, turned into mush but this port was gonzo so no hard feelings Okay, turn off that side. I'm gonna get the uh, solder braid out. Let's see if I know how to use this stuff or not. <laughs> 